Christmas Eve to everybody. So by the time you guys see this, it should be Monday, so all that will have passed. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed your uh, your Christmas Eve and your Christmas, spent time with your family and all that good stuff. So today we're gonna talk about runaway ramps and downgrades. So for starters, you'll mainly see downgrades out west and some parts of the northeast. Now, if you're not familiar with these, um, type of mountains and grades uh, usually before the uh, mountain comes up you'll see a sign excuse me you'll see a sign that warns you that it's coming it's gonna tell you the name of the mountain the percentage of the mountain how long the mountain is and how high in elevation it'll be but you really see the elevation point when you're at the top um, some of these downgrades, depending on the percentages, some of them will have a runaway ramp, some won't, so keep that in mind. Now, before these downgrades come up, some of them have a sign, and it's gonna say mandatory truck stop or brake check area, something along those lines. Now, it's important when you see those signs, guys, that you pull in and do as follow. Get out of your truck, check your tires, and check your brakes. You know, make sure your brakes are not hot now. You're gonna see drivers bypass the uh, truck stop or the brake check area. You're gonna see that. Don't be one of those drivers because God forbid you bypass it, it'd be just your luck. You catch a blowout, you get my point. So make sure you pull in. Now, when you're uh, going up the mountain and going down the mountain, you're gonna see trucks flying up the mountain. You're gonna see trucks flying down the mountain. Don't compete with them. Do what's safe and comfortable for you. Because one thing you need to keep in mind is some of these truck drivers that you see flying down these mountains. Some of them go up and down these mountains every single day and night, Monday through Friday. You know, if you're LTL, you know, you do line haul. Some of y'all go down some of these mountains every day and every night, like mountains like Fancy Gap, Cabbage Pass, Sandstone, you get my point. So guys like that, you know, they're experienced with that and they already know how to handle it. Now, if it's your first time going down this particular mountain, you're not gonna really know what to expect. Some of these downgrades, you know, they just go straight down. Some of them are twisty, windy, curvy, you know? So it's very important that you guys pull into these brake check areas and check your brakes. Uh, now keep in mind, as I said before, some of these mountain downgrades, they're not gonna have runaway ramps. So it's important that when you're going down these mountains that you're not wearing out your brakes, you know? Utilize your Jake brake, do light, steady pressure on the brakes. That way you don't wear out your brakes. You don't wanna smoke them. Um, ways to avoid it when you're going up make sure you're in the correct gear you know before you start going down make sure you're in the right gear because you're not gonna be able to shift it once you're going down now going back to the jig brake even if you use it keep in mind guys you're still gonna um, gain speed I mean it's natural it's gravity so when that happens guys don't panic you know continue doing light steady pressure on the brakes and just hold on now. Again, some of these downgrades, you know, they're long, like Donner's Pass, which is on uh, I-80 out in Cali. It's like 40 miles, something like that. Now, now every downgrade is gonna be long like that. Some are short, you know, some are longer than others. Now, I did some research on runaway ramps. Should you have to use one, at least for the state of Colorado, their DOT will not cite you for having to use it. Now, if you use it safely, they're not gonna cite you for it. Now you will get hit with the tow bill because obviously the tow company, they're gonna have to uh, pull you out of there. And by the way, I've always wanted to know how do they um, get these trucks out? 
is there like a road or something that runs parallel? I've always wanted to know how do they get them from on top of the mountain? Y'all let me know if you happen to know. Um, going back to the runaway ramps, you know, I can't promise you that you won't roll over and I can't promise you that your truck won't roll back, but just hold on and pray. But I would rather use the ramp than to not use it and uh, kill an innocent bystander. So the point of the video is guys, make sure you uh, check your brakes, you check your tires and make sure you have the correct gear before you go down the mountain. All right, y'all catch y'all on the next one.